Today I'm going to go through the steps on how to utilize Thingiverse to export a STL file to Polar Cloud 3D for your flash forward printer. First you got to bring up Thingiverse and that's just Thingiverse.com. You're going to go down and find whatever design or shape or print you want to use. You're going to select the print. Here we'll just do the succulent planter. Looks kind of cute. Click on it, we bring it up. We're going to go down and we're going to see some options along the lower end there. And it's going to say thing files. We're going to want to select thing files. That's going to bring up a list or a single item in this case. And what we're going to do is we're going to select that item. And then we're going to want to click more. And then look at the options available. Okay. We're just going to save to files in this case on an iOS device. I just throw mine in a file called sketches. Once we select it and click add, it's going to bring us back to the page where we needed to save the file. We're going to open up a new tab. Once we open up that tab, we're going to go to Polar Cloud 3D page. That's Polar 3D. Com. Once that loads up, we're going to click sign in. If you haven't signed in yet, you need to make an account. Once you're logged in, you're going to see about a third of the way down the page, there's an upload button. You're going to want to click upload. And then you're going to want to click in the center. Click on browse. And this will bring up your most recently used files. In this case, some sketches. I'm going to choose the leggy planter. Then down the bottom hand, you upload that file. Most of the files are fairly small, so it only takes a few moments. All right, now that it's updated, we're just gonna send it right to the build plate. It's gonna bring it up. It's gonna throw a image on the build plate. You can look around, see how it looks. If you wanna change it, you can look at the placement, you can scale it down, you can Choose print settings, choose the configuration you want, infill, shell thickness, whether you use a raft or a wall. And then ultimately you're just gonna click print at the top of the screen. Now we'll load up and send it to the slicing portion of the program. Once you're here, you're gonna to wanna to click start when you click start, it's going to say in the lower left hand corner where it says waiting to slice, it'll then say the slicing of the item it has been completed. And then you'll click the start button again. And from here, you just wait for your bed to heat up, your extruder to heat up. And then your print will begin to print. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave it down below. Did my best. I hope this helps.